I haven't put on the right, I haven't put on the right bottoms, hang on. Three, off stage right. Okay, here we go. Hello guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for a video. This is a late night one. This is a few hours before I go on holiday. This is unorganized chaos, but I thrive off that. I thrive off the unorganized lifestyle that I like to lead. So, as you guys can see, we are back filming one of my favourite styles of videos. Kind of a little bit of a what's new in my wardrobe, um, what have I been wearing over on Instagram in my last holiday, what I will be wearing when I'm in Mykonos right now. So stuff that you'll be seeing right now on my Instagram will be the stuff that I'm going to share now because I'm literally going to pack all this stuff. I mentioned some bits that I wore in Ibiza and just some summer essentials that I've been loving, grabbing and... I'm vibing um, is essentially today's video. There's loads of these that I want to film. I feel like I've left such a long time since the last one that there's almost like a whole other group of clothes that I want to do, like night out dresses now that we can go on nights out and things like that. So definitely expect more. Apologies, these videos are coming out a little bit late. I know it's the beginning of August. It would have been far better if these videos were out at the start of summer, but you guys know life is just a lot sometimes. So I hope you can forgive me. If you're all doing super well. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. My name is Georgia May. I like make lots of content here on YouTube, also over on Instagram, and I've recently tried to get into TikTok. So I'd love it if you guys could check out my other social handles. I will leave them all linked below. I will also leave a link below any discount codes that I currently have running. I know I have one currently running with Farfetch. I'm trying to think if I've got any others. I don't know, I might have one with Misguided. If there's any that I've forgotten about, I'll leave those affiliate discount codes in the description box if you want to use them. I'll also link everything that I can in today's video so you can shop all of the pieces. I'll try and link this little lemon towelette set. I don't know where I've put the shorts, um, but I adore this set and I think I'm going to bring this away too because it's just so cosy. I've got some plain white shorts on now instead, but... The matching shorts are really, really cute to this. I think I've previously shown them in another video. A lot of this stuff, I'm going to talk you through it and then just insert try on clips or insert Instagram pictures. Sorry, it's not super in depth, but I just don't have the time. I'm on a time crunch today and I wanted to get a video out for you guys. So I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, I'm going to just crack on with it. Make sure you guys have got a glass of something. I've got a big old bottle of water here. And I know the lighting's a little bit funky. It's because I'm filming this and it's pitch black outside. Stan and me, I'm literally going away in a few hours. Have I packed a thing? No. Have I run out of contact lenses? Yes. I don't know where any of my stuff is. I've got no shoes. I've lost a handbag I wanted to bring away with me. It's it's not even an organised mess. It's just it's just a mess. Um, but it's fine. Let's start out with a new handbag purchase of mine. You guys have a problem. We've all established it. Um, I will actually drop a link below to my recent video, which was all about summer luxury purchases. This bag was not included in that because I hadn't purchased it yet. But I absolutely love her. And I don't think she's a summer bag. I think she's an all-year-round bag. This is the YSL wallet on chain um, type bag. I don't actually own a wallet on chain per se. I have a Gucci bag, but it's that is for the evening but it is more of a bag um i love the size of this i love that you can do it as a little clutch love the nude color this comes in loads of colors you can use my code to get 10 percent off these bags if you're at all interested and the size is really nice on the inside i like that it's the more tough wearing leather from ysl i think ysl for me will always remain quite a minimalist cool classic brand um and i just think with evening outfits or anything like neutral this is gonna look so so nice so this is the bag i'm definitely going to be bringing away with me and i did just Want to reference her at the start because i do have a code with farfetch so i wanted to make you guys aware a couple of other bags and accessories i have this hat that i'm going to be bringing with me and um, this is a reclaimed vintage cap probably is going to look awful with my hair how it currently is um because it's in a high ponytail but i just i mean anyone that has their hair colored will understand the problems oh i've left the cardboard in that yeah it's just to kind of prevent my hair sort of going really brassy in the sunshine and to stop my head from burning so you know safety first guys i just picked this up from asos i then have two beach bags that i'm going to share with you guys really quickly i normally leave accessories to the end but i want to kind of talk about accessories because i think accessories are very important i have here two completely different types of beach bag both i love both i'm going to bring and I think they're both fab. I'll start with this one because this one is the more inexpensive one. This is from the lovely Gemma Louise Miles brand, Girl of Muse. 
I love this. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I love it so much. And she very kindly sent this to me, which I thought was so lovely of her. I, I'm a massive fan of a bag like this with a long sort of like strap. It's kind of like a recyclable type bag. So I feel like not only will I use it in the summer to the beach, but I would 100% use this like to go and get my food shopping with. Um, I love the kind of print. It's just neutral and kind of cool. It just gives me that sort of cool effortless feel so this is a bag i would definitely use like to the beach or somewhere where i didn't want to ruin maybe my kind of nicer beach bag and it's just so huge that you can throw absolutely everything in there the beach bag that i'm definitely going to be bringing is my chloe beach bag again i've mentioned this i think a couple of times here on youtube so i won't go on about her too much i adore this bag um i did grab mine in farfetch when i last looked they were sold out hopefully they're back in stock now I love the size, I love the texture, the fact that it like has the Chloe straps and like the leather bit at the base. I, there is nothing about this bag that I do not love. I think it's the perfect beach bag. You can obviously have it across your um, shoulder like that, like this, or you can do it in like the crook of your arm or just hold it like a little kind of tote bag. And I just really love it. I really think it looks so chic and stylish. So I'm really glad I got this. I was, I was really nervous about buying a beach bag that was a designer beach bag um i think just because they are a lot of money and you're going to be wearing them by the pool but i think i could justify this chloe one because it wasn't crazy don't get me wrong it was expensive but it wasn't crazy some of them now are just like 800 pounds for a beach bag and it's a good hefty size and i'm a massive fan of this kind of raffia i always have been even my beach bags that i had before this one were more of like this sort of texture so i really really like that and i think i'll use it for years to come so she is very cute and she will be coming on this trip. You guys wouldn't have seen that bag in Ibiza because I actually didn't own it yet. So hence why it wasn't in any of my Ibiza pictures. But she will be coming on this trip with me for sure. So let's just dive straight on in to the bits and bobs. I am going to start with my favourite thing. Shirts. I love a shirt. I love a shirt to layer over swimwear. Again, this is probably something I might touch on a little bit more when I do my swimwear video. Um, how to feel confident and comfortable in swimwear. Because that is a whole probably an hour long video um, about tips and tricks and how to just feel good in swimwear when you're away. But one of my must haves when I'm going away and traveling and everything is a shirt. I love particularly a linen or cotton shirt. This one here is from Zara. I've had her for a hot minute, but I will try and link something like this, if not this one below. I love the neutral tones. It goes with a lot of my swimwear pieces and it's just nice even with denim shorts and like a straw hat. I don't know, something about that just looks really cool when actually the effort is honestly below zero so this is my one from zara that i love this one here is from primark and i do really love this shirt um i probably will be bringing this shirt away unfortunately there's a little mark on it which i can't seem to get out which is a bit annoying but my favorite linen shirt my favorite white shirt is one from asos that i am going to do my absolute best to link below i cannot locate that shirt for the life of me i don't know where on earth it's gone but that is like my favorite shirt and i'm sure i've got pictures somewhere i must of me in that white linen shirt. I wear it in the UK with denim jeans, I wear it over dresses, I wear it over denim shorts, bikinis, like it is my go-to and it's a really nice oversized fit. So that's probably like my must have in my wardrobe actually, like of all time, is a big white sheer linen shirt. I'm gonna leave my pink blazer, I'll quickly show you her, but I've mentioned her too many times to like waffle on about it again. So I will link videos below where I talk about that blazer. Let's go on to day dresses, one of my favorite thing to wear um something that i tell so many girls to wear if they're unsure if i was going on like a date if i was going out with the girls if i was going out for like a family thing somewhere i need to be smart casual i will always choose a day dress or a you know a dress that i can dress up and dress down i've got so many here there's more on this rail but i will start with these for now this is surprisingly one of my just favorites this is river island and i just absolutely absolutely love this what i love about it is it has some built-in shorts which anyone out there just knows it just makes a short little cute dress feel way better you feel a lot more comfortable when it comes to built-in shorts like i mentioned this one's from river island i did get it in a 10 love the print on this it's really fun i think with the tan it would just look so lovely literally just some flat shoes sliders River Island is a brand that, you know what, I don't purchase from regularly between, like, to tell you guys the truth. But when it comes to summer, I always check out their website because their swimwear fits so good. Like, chef's kiss. I absolutely love their swimwear. Um, if you like a high-rise bottom, but not the fabric to come up high-waisted, but just the sides of your bikini bottoms, 
trust me try them i think they're amazing next up i have this dress which is a new purchase of mine from asos kind of looks a little bit crazy on the hanger i mean is that someone's waist no this is all an open back detail so it's this really nice kind of floral paisley print in this pink and red a little bit of fun uh, look i'm loving a bit of color for the summer i think why the heck not <sighs> next up i have this dress i think i've mentioned this dress before i definitely mentioned it in my ibiza vlog this is a dress by tula rosa um, which is a brand that is stocked on Revolve. And I don't normally talk about, I talk every now and again about designer bags and accessories, but when it comes to clothes, I tend to keep everything very high street. However, this brand, Tula Rosa, I think I might have something else from them. They're, sh you know, slowly becoming my guilty pleasure. I have to keep it real. I adore this dress. I'll definitely pop a picture on or a try on or something. It has a really nice cut out detail just here in the most flattering area. The whole back is open. It's a very pretty throw on dress for the evening. White, nice with some gold hoops, gold jewellery. I absolutely adore this dress and I really hate saying that because it is not cheap somebody did send me a link to one from bershka that i'm going to try my best to link below tula rosa are one of my favorite brands on revolve if you're a little bit stuck with what should i actually be buying on revolve next up i have accessorize yes throwing it back to an old school brand how pretty is this dress so i went in there and this was in the sale um this had gone down from 40 to 20 pounds and i just thought again it's a really nice dress to do day or evening you know if you're going to go out in the day and you want something um, to throw on it would be really lovely but equally so if you're doing something a bit more casual in the evening you don't want to be all glam and super dressed up a lot of people ask me like what do I wear on Greece what's Greece's vibe Greece's vibe is very cool effortless like, everyone just looks great but kind of like naturally great um and I just feel like it's not too glam don't get me wrong wear whatever the heck you want honestly wear whatever you want whatever makes you feel good but I go on Instagram and I see some girls sometimes in these incredible like glitter dresses bodycon dresses and they look great um, but they've got like stiletto heels on. I could not walk around Mykonos cobbled streets or Santorini or so many of the Greek islands cobbled streets, Europe's cobbled streets in a stiletto heel. It's just not for me. It's probably never gonna happen unless you're getting dropped right outside the restaurant. Probably not gonna happen. So um, I kind of tend to stick more to like a nice chunky slider. I do um, a couple of pairs. You know, what? I'll do all the shorts because I've got so many more dresses, guys. It's actually insane. Let's do shorts. This is something that I said I was going to do a whole YouTube video on, and I didn't. Not because I couldn't find great shorts this summer, but mostly because the weather was so crap in the UK that unless you are, you know, you know, going to go away or you're seeing a bit of sun in Cornwall or something like that, I felt like it was a bit pointless. Um, and I feel like that a little bit with this video, but hopefully someone out there will find something they like from this video. But I did feel like doing a whole video on denim shorts just seemed really silly. Like we didn't have the weather for it this year. Next year, I'm open to the idea, but I just feel like unless the weather is there, it's really difficult to film that kind of content. But if you are still on the hunt for denim shorts and you have a similar body type to mine, which is just larger on the lower half. So I would say the smallest part of me is like up here under my bust, my waist. The bigger part of me are my thighs, my legs, my bum don't mean that in a negative way it's just a general statement and i struggle sometimes with shorts i struggle to find some that fit good on the waist fit me over my thighs or fit me on my bum that i feel comfortable in sophie milner is my go-to girl on instagram she kills me she always talks about how certain pairs of denim shorts give her a yeast infection which always cracks me up because i know what she means like i don't want all this denim like you know like i want to feel comfortable in my denim shorts and let me tell you i found some amazing pairs i feel very proud of myself this year so first up i have these kind of more of like a classic vintage style these are reclaimed vintage by asos um, but i love them i love that they have the little turnover detail at the bottom i love the color i love that they're slightly longer they're great to wear in the day they're great to wear in the evening but you don't feel like everything's out I just really, really like these shorts. These are probably my go-to shorts for wearing in the UK, just because they're that extra bit of coverage. They're still a denim short, they're nice for the warmer weather, but they're not short, short. You don't feel really uncomfortable in them. So I've been loving these this summer. These are really cool. I really hope these are still available. Are some nasty gal denim shorts that are like, you know, standard shorts on the front, but look at them on the bum. I adore these. They were sold out the last time I checked, so I'll do my best to link the same ones, if not similar. They have these really cool star print bum to them but they're just a really nice fitting pair of denim shorts i got these in a uk 12 and i just really like them let me mute my computer so here for it they're nice and loose they're high-waisted 
comfortable. Comfortable denim shorts, which is very rare, I feel, to have those two words side by side. I have this white fox pair of denim shorts. I will link my white fox haul below because I really like their stuff for the summer. Absolutely do all these shorts. These will be coming with me. These came with me to Ibiza and I love them. I've got them in a large, some of my favourites. These that I spoke about a lot earlier on in the year and I did have a look on H&M and I couldn't see them. So I'm going to keep stalking because these are absolutely fab. So they're a pair of high-waisted lace shorts with some lovely pocket details they're really flattering on they just sit so nice on the waist they're quite long i love these i think these would look really nice even in the evening they're just a really pretty pair of shorts i grabbed these in a uk um what size did i get european 40 so a uk 12 they don't have a lot of give to the fabric but the fit of, is amazing i absolutely swear by these shorts lastly i have this little sarong this is probably going to be more of a cover-up over certain pieces of swimwear i have a really gorgeous black one piece cut out um one piece that i love 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 and i think this is going to look so so nice with that sort of tied at the side this is zara i did get this in a large really happy i went for a large not a medium because this is quite small in the large um i think it was about yeah 27.99 which let me tell you now this is made of like tissue paper but i love it i think it looks really cool it is what it is um and i do really like this kind of like washed out just sort of hippie sort of vibe to it so yeah this is a new zara purchase from uh, from me um that i do like but 27.99 seemed quite expensive i'm gonna move on to maxi dresses so i only have two real maxi dresses actually i tell a white lie i've got three um first up is this one from last year but i think this is still stocked on asos so i did want to mention it this is asos own brand it's kind of like a beigey linen dress i actually took this away with me last year to santorini and i wore it so much it's a really nice dress to throw on by the pool to throw in if you have to go for lunch pop into a shop that sort of thing fabric super lightweight i love this sort of like linen feel um i love the beige tone i just think it's an easy piece and i think when it comes to holidays you know ease is all i really want so i really like this from asos they do this in a shorter version that i also own but i'm not going to bring away and they do it in loads of different prints and i'm sure they bring out year after year so i wanted to shout that out the next dress i don't want to talk about for too long because it did sell out I wore this when I was in Ibiza, loved it, just felt very comfortable in it. It is quite heavy, it's not the coolest dress, like, for the evening, but it is gorgeous. And then Zara McDermott actually wore this to a wedding, and I think she ended up selling the dress out. I know I certainly did not sell the dress out. Um, yeah, I think she basically sold the dress out, which is kind of very annoying, but it is gorgeous. The colour is just sublime it's really nice to wear a long dress in the evening i think that's how i know i'm getting a bit older i love to wear a long dress in the evening i don't want it all out i want something floaty comfy not going to show off my whole stomach area i'm just loving a longer dress so yeah i do adore this from asos again i mean asos just has some fab gems i mean look at the print on that that is so stunning but I don't know if they're going to restock it. The thing is with ASOS, they do restock things quite a lot. It's just sometimes there's quite a delay. So I'm going to link it anyway. Even if it says out of stock, keep checking. It might come back. I have a piece here which is from Primark. So I can't link this, but I just really love this. This is completely knitted see-through dress. Um, just really nice over swimwear. I just think it looks really cool. I like the cut. It's a little bit longer again. Nice to throw onto the beach. Definitely more of like a summer holiday item. But I really like this from Primark. This is a Zara dress. How much do we love it? Oh, I love it so much. So I did get this in a large. It's probably a little bit big, but I want to bring it away. So I'm going to make it work. I absolutely adore this crochet dress. I just think it looks really cool. So expensive. Um, it was expensive. <laughs> 49.99. But I think it looks like even more expensive. And I just flipping love it i love the crochet detail definitely a little bit warm but with some really cute little flat um i've got some gucci sliders i think it's gonna look so nice and for a photo i thought i could throw on these white kind of like faux bottega heels that i got from the air, um the hotel in ibiza oh my god i love it so yeah i just fell in love with this dress um i thought it was really fun and a bit different so that's zara i then have this which is a new addition to my wardrobe this particular piece is again from Tula Rosa. 
this is what I mean when I say I'm developing a couple of issues with Tula Rosa just in the sense that I'm loving everything that they do and I do not have the budget for their stuff but this is lovely they also do this I believe in white but I just loved the beige I have a really nice white cream swimsuit from Opoly that I'm bringing with me and I think this would look heavenly with it so love 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 it definitely very warm for Mykonos but it goes with the Mykonos vibes cream and white that's all anyone wears out there, I swear. A couple more of like the day pieces and things that I would wear in the UK. So that if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I can't wear any of this stuff, hopefully some of this stuff will be okay. Um, I will start out with this cohort set, which is from ASOS again. ASOS is one of my faves. Again, ASOS own brand, I believe. Um, it's really pretty. The only thing I'm not a fan of, and it probably isn't gonna show up on camera because I'm filming so late at night, um, and it's kind of just overexposing and adding so much saturation to everything. This is quite a dirty white. <laughs> it looks like it needs to kind of be washed again. But I think it's just the fabric, which is a bit of a shame. This is beautiful. It's a lovely kind of like net cord. Um, it has all this gorgeous detailing to it. I really don't know if my camera wants to kind of show it up with these lovely little buttons, the pleats. I love this. It's a really pretty cord. Um, this is the top. Oh, isn't it just lovely? I think it looks so expensive. Um, and like a lovely little boutique cohort. You could again match these items separately to other tops that you have. I love them together, but it's all about whatever you want to do. And I just think it's the perfect cohort to wear in the day, in the evening, cash it down, dress it up, whatever you want to do. I have this little boohoo dress I wanted to quickly shout out. I've already worn this on Insta, but I think she's really fun. I love the colour. I love that she adds a bit of a pop. Um, I also really really like the way it fits my body so I'm going to be bringing this dress away it weighs absolutely nothing why the heck not this cord from Bershka that I really love um, I've already shown this but I've never actually worn it it definitely is a bit risque just if you move because this literally is a bra but I love it and I think you can probably do mix and match so with this little skirt I love it as a cord but if I feel a bit nervous just because the top is so tiny with this gorgeous little skirt, I do have a white top from ASOS that is heavenly. I mean, how lovely does that look? That I thought might pair quite nicely just with the skirt. If I did a white shirt top and some white shoes. So that would make a really cute evening outfit too. Um, for a size guide, I got the skirt in a large. I think I got the top in a medium. And I really like this. Bershka is another brand that I think is very underrated. I don't talk about them enough. And I really love them. This print is so, so pretty. I'm trying to get my wear out of it before summer is officially over. Does anyone else feel like summer just didn't even happen this year? I don't know. Like, isn't it just... That's not me complaining and not saying I didn't have a good summer. I know everyone likes to take things like that. That's not what I mean. I just mean as in it just gone with a blink of an eye and we didn't get the best weather in the UK, which is a bit crap for a lot of people. Right, a couple of other bits I'm going to really quickly show. This cover-up from Opoly, um, it's just a basic maxi cover-up. Have a bit of a... What's the word? Like, I, I'm a bit peed off with Opoly at the minute. Their swimwear that they brought out this year, the sizing was not okay. <laughs> it was not okay. Me and Emily both felt like this. I spoke about it on my YouTube channel. I love their swimwear. Their swimwear are some of my favourite. They are one of my favourite swimwear brands. I think the cut is amazing. I normally just adore their swimwear. Really disappointed this year in the sizing. Everything was so tiny. Like, when I say so tiny, I bought bottoms in an extra large and they just fit me. Um, I bought them in a large and my sister tried them on and she's like a UK 8. And they were minuscule on her. Like, as in they were so, so tiny. So something definitely went on with the sizing. I mean, they even specified on their website, size up in this, size up in this. But you needed to size up like twice. It really was quite small, which is a shame. So just thought I'd let any of you know if you're looking to buy their swimwear. This year was a bit strange. I then have this absolutely gorgeous rose gold knitted cover up. You could do this in the evening. You could do this in the day. It is so cool. The sheen on it, everything. I mean, look at that sheen on the dress. It's like, it's so pretty. But again, this is more of an expensive piece. This is from a brand called Lovers and Friends. I always feel so naughty. I, no, I don't feel naughty because I do buy things that are expensive sometimes. But I just feel bad when I talk about more expensive pieces unless I have a dupe. So I'm going to look for a dupe for it if you don't want to spend the money on this one. But it is, I mean, it's, it is like the nicest thing ever. Um... 
and I'm just being true to myself. Look, sometimes I spend, I go to Primark and I find stuff like that knitted uh, dress that I was raving about before. Where is she? Here she is. So yeah, sometimes I'll find things like this in Primark, like this was cheap as chips. And then sometimes I will want to buy something like this. And it just depends what you want and what your budget is. Um, but yeah, just thought I would mention those couple of pieces. And I'm just going to show a couple of evening pieces. So I have three kind of dresses here, all sort of a similar vibe in the sense they're all silk satin. I really like wearing that fabric on holiday. I don't know why. It just feels really lightweight to me and it floats and like almost flows over the body in a really nice way. Um, I have two dresses from Zara. This is like my new just favourite dress. I mean, this is to me is like a birthday dress. It is a little high necked blue shift dress with a super low dramatic back. I absolutely love this. I ordered it in a medium and a large. I need to return the large. I ended up going with the medium. The large fit me fine, but it was just a little bit loose and big. Um, but this is gorgeous. It's 29.99 from Zara. Can Zara bring this out in every colour? Can they do it in like orange, pink, red? I love the blue, but I just, I adore this dress. So I cannot wait to wear that when I'm away. I also have this, which is from Zara that I love. It's a little bit short, so I'm a bit apprehensive, but I do think I'm gonna bring it just cause it's very, very pretty. Um, I got this a little while back, so hopefully it's still online. This I got in a medium and this was 25 99 The last sort of like evening dress I have is this one. And I know it looks quite kind of dressy and glam, but I'm gonna just dress it down with some flat shoes um, and make it a bit more relaxed. This is from a brand called Camellia Coelho. Co Coelho? Oh, I'm so sorry to anybody out there. That is the brand. Please correct me in the comments. Oh, this brand do some beautiful pieces, but this was gorgeous. It kind of gave me a little bit of House of CB vibes. The print is really nice. It just is so flattering on the body. It has a really nice split up the leg. I absolutely adore this dress. Um, and I just thought it'd be really nice on holiday with a nice glowy skin moment. So that is pretty much everything. There is more that I want to talk about. There's so many more swimwear cover-ups, sarongs. I want to go into bikinis. But I want to talk to you guys about it like in depth and properly. So I'm going to save it for another video where I can really, really articulate what I want to say. Let me know what your favourite item was from this video. I will do my absolute best to link everything that I mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've missed this style of video so, so much. I cannot wait to bring it back with a lot more organisational skill behind it but i just wanted to film this one and get it out because i felt like it had been so so long um thank you guys for watching as always i love you all so so much any specific questions you have feel free to comment them below and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>